All right, hey everybody, it's Evan from devisun.com. And in this video, we're gonna go over the switch component inside of Headless UI. Now, real quick before we get started, if you haven't seen the other Headless UI tutorials, I suggest you go check those out. There's a really cool transitional component as well as a menu dropdown component, which are really cool and easy to use. But in this video, we're gonna go over the switch component, which basically is a toggle. And just like the other components, it's super simple and easy to use. If you need any help throughout this video, feel free to drop by my Discord server. I'll have a link in the description down below. Either myself or someone else will be able to help you out there. Anyways, let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna need is our use state hook. And then I'm gonna import our switch component from the headless UI. And lastly, I'm gonna import our container component. And all this is, is a simple function. that has some divs here to wrap our switch component. And basically this just centers everything. So it's clean and easy to see on video. All right, now that we have those, let's go ahead and create our function here. Inside this function, I'm gonna create an enabled state. And we're gonna use this to determine whether or not our switch is enabled or disabled. Now let's go ahead and return some JSX. I'm gonna wrap everything in our container component. And now we're going to insert a switch.group component. And just like in the last few tutorials, we can use the as prop to determine what HTML element this is gonna be. We want this to be a div in this case. And now I'm gonna add some Tailwind CSS styling to this. Now there's two things we can put inside our switch group. The first is gonna be the switch label. And this simply just acts as a label for our switch pretty self-explanatory. And secondly is gonna be our switch. So our switch is gonna essentially act as a button here. So I'm going to use the as prop and set it to button. Next is the checked prop. And here's where we're gonna to wanna to put in our enabled state. And this basically determines whether or not the switch is checked. Next is gonna be our on change prop. And we're gonna use this to toggle our set enabled. And lastly, we're gonna add some Tailwind styling. Inside our styling, I'm going to determine whether or not enabled is true or false. If it's true, we're gonna have the background set to green. Otherwise, we're gonna have the background set to gray. And now I'm just gonna add in some other Tailwind CSS styling just to make it look nice. And of course, all the code I'm gonna have here is in the description down below. I'm gonna have it on GitHub, just in case you wanna copy these styles for yourself. You can also go to the Headless UI documents page and they have a few examples there as well. All right, and now within our switch, we're gonna actually add the little uh, knob that you see on most toggles. And to do this, I'm actually gonna throw in a render prop object, which is called checked. And then within here, we're we're just gonna put a span. Now I'm gonna give this span some styling. Now first we're gonna see if checked is true or false. If our switch is checked, we're gonna use the Tailwind CSS Translate X6, which is gonna shift our knob over to the right. And if it's not checked, we are going to set the translate back to zero where it was originally positioned. And now once again, I'm just going to style our switch knob here like so. And now that we have all this, let's go check it out in the browser and see if it works. All right, so we see our label right here and we see our switch here. So let's go ahead and toggle it on. And now you can see, once I clicked on it, it is green. And if I click on it again, it's back to gray and it's the switches over to the left. And of course you can also click on the label too to toggle it as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it pretty simple. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like. And if you need any help, leave a comment down below and I'll try to respond as fast as possible. If you enjoy content like this, be sure to check out my other headless UI tutorials. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.